It is a great honor for me as the Director General of Immigration of the Republic of Indonesia to be able to standing here and to deliver a speech in this important meeting that the project launch even of the EU ASEAN Immigration and Border Management Program second. This meeting will become an important milestone for all ASEAN member states to prepare for the establishment of ASEAN connectivity as mandated in the master plan of ASEAN connectivity as it has been agreed by ASEAN leaders in 24th of October 2009. The master plan of ASEAN connectivity states that interconnectivity within the ASEAN region covers of three main components. Those are physical connectivity, institutional connectivity, and people-to-people -people connectivity. Those three components aim to create safe and better environment for the movement Asian nationals, especially internal, the movement of people between ASEAN member states. Excellencies, distinguished delegates from European Union and ASEAN member states. In pursuit of ASEAN connectivity, especially in easing the movement of ASEAN nationals, there are two major challenges that we need to be addressed. First, is the cross-border communities from ASEAN member states. And second, is the cross-border procedures that apply in every ASEAN member states. Cross-border communities in the ASEAN region is very plural and distinctive. In this region, we acknowledge the modern cross-border communities, such as business communities, tourist labor migrant communities, student, and so on. On the other hand, we also acknowledge the traditional cross-border communities, which is traditional communities who live in the border area, both borderland and maritime border. These two types of cross-border communities have their own characteristic of movement. As consequences, this distinction of cross-border communities resulted on various visa regime between ASEAN member states. The distinction of cross-border communities and the various visa regime in the Asian region has become a challenge to be considered and to be addressed before the implementation of ASEAN connectivity. The next element is cross-border procedures. Cross-border procedures is an important element to be addressed by ASEAN member states because 
the enhancement of immigration facilitation to easing the movement of people in the Asian region without proper safeguards from abuse could lead to the emerging of potential illicit activities, both immigration-related activities or criminal activities. The establishment of ASEAN connectivity will directly lead to the creation of borderless region in Southeast Asia, which will indirectly impose a potential threats from negative internalities such as transnational crime, people smuggling, and trafficking in persons. Therefore, immigration facilitation and cross-border management are critical point of enhancing ASEAN connectivity. In accordance to this, immigration authorities in ASEAN manage to form a regional cooperation, namely the Asian Directors General of Immigration Departments and Heads of Consular Affairs Divisions of the Ministries of Foreign Affairs Meeting, DGICM. Through this forum, all immigration authorities in ASEAN has set up several programs which enacted in the ASEAN Plan of Action for Cooperation in Immigration. However, each ASEAN member states is responsible to create a balance between improving immigration facilitation on one side and strengthening their borders on the other side. After the preferred balance is achieved, all ASEAN member states need to consider for consolidating different policies and regulations across the member states. Excellencies, distinguished delegates from European Union and ASEAN member states, by considering those above mentioned challenges, it is necessary for ASEAN member states to improve their cooperation in order to manage the issues related to immigration and the movement of people, which tends to be dynamic. Moreover, several efforts have been taken by ASEAN incorporated with European Union, nam namely EU ASEAN Migration and Border Management Program. This initiative is a new dimension for improving the extended cooperation between immigration authorities in the ASEAN region. This project aims to strengthen the regional network and cooperation amongst the border management agencies of ASEAN member states. Finally, in this precious moment, please allow me to extend our congratulations on the launching of EU ASEAN Migration and Border Management Program Second. We look forward to enhance our cooperation with all stakeholders and other authorities 
through this program. Thank you very much for your attention.